Hey everybody, this is Get Real with Spanish, and this is 10 words from the Nahuatl language. Do you know what the Nahuatl language is? Uh, well, I'll tell you what it isn't, and it's not Nahuatl. Okay, this L right here is silent. So, let's move on. What is Nahuatl? It is the language of the ancient Aztecs, well, which are the native people of central Mexico. And today, and even I was surprised by this, about 1.7 million speakers are still uh, are still around today, so that's super super cool. All right, avocado. Do you know what the popular word for avocado is in Mexico? It is aguacate. Did you know that? You probably did. It's pretty common. All right, it comes from the Aztec word aguacate. And by the way, my my pronunciation um, for Nahuatl is not very good. Um, I don't I don't really know any know what so bear with me we're kind of focused on Spanish here and the Spanish translation so the literal translation of uh, aguacate is um, actually testicle and um, I don't really need to explain why if you've seen an avocado that can explain itself and another word or synonym for aguacate is palta okay palta you'll hear that in um, for example uh, Peru they say uh, palta Se me antoja un aguacate. All right. I crave uh, an avocado. Peanut. Do you know what they say in Mexico for peanut? Did you get it? Cacahuate. Cacahuate o oh, cacahuete. All right. It comes from the um, Aztec word tlacucahuat, and it it translates to uh, cocoa bean. And another word in Latin America for cacahuate is maní. Comprame un paquete de cacahuate, por favor. All right. Buy me a pack of um, peanuts, please. All right. Kid or boy or girl. Do you know what they would call a kid, boy or girl in Mexico? Chamaco. Okay. O chamaca for a girl. It comes from the Aztec word chamahuac. And the translation is plump. Okay, and another word or synonym for chamaco is esquinkle, and that means squirt. Like, hey, come here, you little squirt. <laughs> Ese chamaco no entiende. All right. Grasshopper. Do you know what it is? Chapolin. Comes from the Aztec word chapolin. I think I couldn't really find anything else. The translation is grasshopper. Um, another word for chapolin is saltamontes, which is kind of interesting. And I'll explain why here in a moment. Um, la gente de Oaxaca, Mexico, come chapolines. Saltamontes, uh, it's, it's kind of interesting because if you break it into, into two here, salta comes from the verb saltar, means to jump, and then montes, it comes, it, it's similar to mountain, so it's like a uh, mountain jumper. <laughs> I don't think they can jump that high, but it's, yeah, pretty cool. All right, let's move on here. Turkey. All right, um... Let's see here. Let's find out. Guajolote. Guajolote. It uh, comes from the Aztec word, huejolot, and the translation is turkey. Um, another word for guajolote is pavo. For example, if you say guajolote in Chile, I don't know if they'll understand you, but you can try it. Maybe they'll learn something. Los guajolotes son coloridos. All right. Let's, let's move forward. Cornfield. What do we have here? Milpa. Milpa. From the Aztec word milpan, uh, maybe. I really couldn't isolate that one. The literal translation is cultivated field, okay? Una milpa is a cultivated field. Um, another word for milpa, uh, it's not exact, but you could say cosecha. Cosecha, it's a, a crop. Cosechar is to harvest, okay? La milpa está lista para ser cultivada, all right? Here we go. Oh, tomato. Tomato, that's going to be a tough one. Tomate. Comes from the word tomate. Uh, another word for tomate is jitomate. Hay seis tomates en la cocina, señora. Si sí, hay. <laughs> All right. Hay seis tomates en la cocina. Do you know what that means? There are six tomatoes in the kitchen. Drinking straw. Popote comes from the word popot. The literal translation is straw, and I think it refers to the actual uh, the plant that horses eat. Another word for popote is absorbente, 
Do you know which country? They say absorbente. Cuba. All right. ¿Me das un popote? Let's move forward here. Pan. So this is referring to like a, a skillet or like a, a grill. All right. Comal. Comal. This comes from the Aztec word comal. Uh, it's uh, the literal translation is uh, like a griddle. And another word that you could find throughout Latin America would be uh, plancha. Plancha. Uh, ¿Se puede calentar unas tortillas en el comal? All right. And there is a comal. If you ever go to Mexico, uh, you'll see a lot of these. And they don't only use these to cook tortillas, but I've seen I've seen them use these for uh, for everything from from meat to a variety of vegetables. So. And I, I know in the older times they they used to make these comales um, from uh, clay. Um, I don't know if they use like ceramic today or if they continue using clay. I don't know, but uh, very cool, very cool. Sandal. Huarache. Okay, it comes from the word tecat. And the literal translation is sandal. Another word for huarache is, uh, is chancla. But that's more like a flip-flop um, that you would use like uh, during a shower or when you go to the beach. Mi hermana quiere comer un huarache. My sister wants to eat a... A what? Am I saying she wants to eat a sandal? Actually, no, I'm not. And I'll explain that here in a moment. But Son muy bonitos, ¿verdad? Um, this is a pair of uh, huarache. When I was in uh, Guanajuato, Mexico... I saw many of these shoes uh, for sale, and uh, they're very neat and very beautiful. Um, I didn't give me a pair, but uh, they're super special, I think, and uh, yeah, get you a pair, all right? And uh, what I said a minute ago, mi hermana quiere comer un huarache. My sister wants to eat a... It's a sandwich as well. So huarache also refers to this uh, type of sandwich, which... Um, and if you look at it, it kind of resembles a, a sandal, right? Muchísimas gracias por ver este video. Quiero compartir esa canción mía. If you want to take just a moment to listen to one of my songs on iTunes, feel free to do so. In fact, I'll play a sample for you right now. And if you want to hear the rest, go to iTunes and uh, I'll put the description in the link. And also... This is a, um, an album that me and my uh, friend released uh, about a month ago. And I think it's about a 12-track uh, album you can find on Spotify. Okay, and I'll also put the link in the description box. More videos coming up. If you, want, um, if you have any recommendations for me, please leave a comment. And uh, I'll do my best to uh, make that happen. So thanks again for watching. And I hope to see you guys soon.